So, uh, you have this landscape, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the primary top is called the primary ridge. But then on the side, each of these, the back of a hump is called secondary ridges. This is secondary ridge, secondary ridge. In between second ridge are going to be the gullies. So what happens now, like for example, if I pour water on this side, let's say I pour water, this is like a big flood at this scale, right? Where the water goes? It goes into the gullies. Mm -hmm. The ridges remain dry. Mm -hmm. Even if I pour water on the ridge, from the ridge will go, like let's say even here. It'll go, part will go here, the other part will go here. Mm -hmm. So in this model, uh, teacher Abdurrahman is showing us the, the benefit of what are called key line furrows or key line cultivation. So these blues are the uh, contour curves. Like this blue curve is at the same height. So when the blue, if you look from top, if you stand up and look from the top, when you see the blues lines are close to each other, that means it's very steep there. Because it changes from let's say 50, 70 meters, 50 meters very quickly. When the blue lines are far, which means it's very gentle here, the slope. Mm -hmm. How do you distinguish a, a, a ridge from gully by looking at the blue lines? If you look at the top, the, in a gully, it's sharp first, like very quick drop, and then gradual. Mm -hmm. On the ridge, it's gradual first and then sharp. That's the kind of opposite. You see that? Like here, you gradual and then this. Here is a dish and then this. It's the opposite. Now, key line is a contour where the, where the, if, like say this, we, we thought that this blue line is a key line because at this blue line, this, if you look from the top, if you look on this side, that it switches from being sharp to gentle, and same line, it switches from being, let's say, gentle to sharp on the ridge, roughly speaking right now. We have not done this very exactly. Mm -hmm. What you do is you make grooves, uh, like while well, you cultivate the land, you do parallel to this, parallel. Those lines, this guy itself is a contour line, which means same height. But the other lines which are parallel, they're not necessarily contour. As you can see, some of them are intersecting contour line. Now, what is the benefit of doing that? The benefit of doing that is, normally if the water here is going to just go down this way, and this will remain dry, this will remain dry. So if you have vegetation on the ridges, nothing is like water is not benefiting it. These lines, the idea is to get the water to go to the ridges, because all the water concentrates in the gullies, and the ridges remain dry. What you do, if you look at this line, this line, this point, is higher than this. So you cannot make water go from here to here. That's mm -hmm. impossible, mm -hmm. unless you use a pump. But this point is lower than this point. Mm -hmm. So if you have a line here, a groove, and you have tiny amount of water, of course, right now, tiny meaning for this scale, it's almost like a finger here. Like if this was smooth, a water here will go down here because that's the fastest uh, yeah. about fastest uh, descent. Mm -hmm. But if I have now made this cut here, mm -hmm. the water here cannot go over this thing. So it's going to start going this, because this is also downhill. It's not the fastest downhill. So you will see the difference. I, you did, I saw this, you saw this earlier. Yeah, yeah. Now see the difference here. I'm going to pour a little bit of water. Okay. It'll come around this side, and you'll see what will happen. Mm. You see where the, this water yeah, is going? Right. It's mm. going here. <laughs> Even though I poured only here, the water is going on, along these lines. Why? Because each one of these lines is actually downhill. So now, this way you can get water into this area. How are they down here if it should be any La, same? These are not equal height. Okay. The blues are equal height. But these are parallel to this blue line, which is our key line, what is called key line, which changes the, from sharp to gentle mm -hmm. on the gullies and sh gentle to sharp on the ridges. So this line, Masran, you see this line is downhill. So if I put a little bit of water into it, you see the water is coming here. Mm. It's reached here, and if I if I keep putting more, even just here, the rain will run here. The rain will keep running here. See, water is coming. Water is coming to the ridge areas. This one is parallel to this one, right? Huh? This These one? are parallel. Okay. These, they are all parallel to this guy, okay. but because they are not at the same height. Oh. The water in these, uh, this has become a little bit dry, but you can see that the water has migrated uh, here, yeah, here. Yeah. Even the water directly did not come from top there. Mm -hmm. It actually came from here along these lines. This way you can get some of the water, instead of all of it concentrating here, get some of it to come to the ridges mm. and irrigate the crops on the ridges. That's the key line system that uh, PA Yeomans in Australia devised. Mm. The idea is to use the natural gravity to do some of this work for you and they won't have to use a pump or anything like that. Okay. So, let's see.